few years ago, I was walking through the woods off the beaten track a bit, and I smelled a really overpowering sweet smell. Being nosy, I pulled back the undergrowth to have a look, and I found a dead body. The guy had clearly been there a while, and wasn't looking great, all swollen and green and black with various runny bits. The local wildlife had been dining well for a few days. I called the police, who told me to wait with the body until they arrived. Being in the middle of nowhere, it took a while for them to arrive, and it got dark. And I just sat there in the dark with him for a long time. It turned out he committed suicide. For a long time afterwards, I had dreams about him, and he would talk to me, and not nice things, mainly about how he was angry. I had disturbed his resting place, and he wanted me to kill myself. Probably just imagination, but all pretty disturbing at the time. He still turns up in my dreams from time to time, and no doubt will be tonight after typing this. About two years ago, I was driving home from a family reunion pretty late at night. The drive was about two hours. I didn't stay the night because I had to be back for work the following day. Most of the drive were on roads with dense bushes and trees on either side. The real creepy ones you see in a lot of the movies. Anyways, I had been driving for about 45 minutes. I was starting to get really tired. You know how sometimes you just suddenly become really tired out of nowhere? Well, yeah, that happened to me. I knew I wasn't going fast, but it didn't come across any place it felt I could park or safely sleep. Anyway, after it became clear to me, I wasn't going to find a place to pull up and my tiredness wasn't going away. I did something very questionable. I pulled over to the side of the road into the grass behind some bushes, trying and hide my car away from anybody else who was going to come past. The roads weren't empty. I came across another car every few minutes or so. I made a mental note every time it was 11.22 I had fallen asleep. Some time later, I had awoken by a scratching sound. I looked at the clock. 11.50. The sound stopped after a few seconds, and because I was still extremely tired, I didn't bother looking around and simply went back to sleep. I was later awoken by the same sound, and it was now 12.40. This time, it really freaked me out because the sound didn't stop. The thought ran across my mind that it was just an animal inspecting the car. But why would it return almost an hour after it had left the previous time? I looked in my rearview mirror and just managed to catch a glimpse of something running away into the forest. Now, at the time, I thought it was damn a killer. You know, the one that scratched that couple's car and then slaughtered the guy and then he got out to investigate. Fuck that. I thought to myself, so I gotta get the hell out of here. There was a bend no more than a hundred yards up the road. And as I came around it, there was a fucking car parked off to the side of the road with the driver on the side of the door. I slowed down just to look to see if anyone was there. There wasn't. Then I looked in my rearview mirror and I didn't see anything. And all of a sudden, this guy comes sprinting around the corner. He starts screaming at me, shouting stuff like, Hey, hey you, hey, get the fuck out of my car now. I hopped the fuck out of there and sped off. I never saw the guy again. Moral of the story, don't fucking sleep on the side of a deserted road. Thanks for listening, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe.